George Eliot Mary Ann Evans, known by her pen name George Eliot, was an English novelist. She was born in 1819 and died in 1880. She used a male pen name first to ensure her works would be taken seriously, so a man's name got her the credit. She wanted to escape the stereotype of women novelists who were seen as only romantic authors. She probably wanted to shield her private life from public security and to prevent scandals attending her relationship with the married George Henry Lewis with whom she lived for over 20 years. In a time where a woman's place was in the home raising children, Mary Ann Evans defied the norm and became George Eliot. Mary Ann then saw she was not meant for that maternal lifestyle. She could not see herself in the domestic world. Her father encouraged her education because he believed her odd looks would keep her a spinster. He did not want her to be reliant on her brothers, so he hoped for a future as a governess for his daughter. She furthered her education at Frankel's school. There, Mary Ann flourished. She greatly improved her French, her piano skills excelled, and her writing talent began to win admiration among her teachers. Marianne was brought up Protestant. While she read theology books, she began to question two evangelic ideas. The first was that the women were the sensitive and emotional sex, and that being naturally maternal, women could never put themselves first. The second idea argued that the God sacrificed love for humanity, which bonds with woman's maternal nature. She also began to read books on astronomy and geology. Both subjects came to the conclusions that the earth was much older than the given dates in Genesis, and so by the end of 1841, those subjects raised new questions for her about religion. Marianne became a free thinker, a Victorian term for an agnostic. Marianne's abandonment for religion was her first step away from the typical Victorian women. Women during this era were known for their devotion to religious practices. Her 1872 work Middle March has been described by Martin Ames and Julian Barnes as the greatest novel in the English language. She died in 1880 at the age of 61.